Oh, the handrail ends. <laughs> Maybe stop watching if you're claustrophobic. What have we got up ahead, mate? Yeah, it's a dead straight drive. Shit! You can, only, you can hardly see to the end of it. Good evening YouTube, this is uh, episode 2 from this location and it uh, is episode 4 from what we're referring to as the Tin Adventures. If you want to catch up, shoot back a couple of weeks, if not, sit back and enjoy tonight's episode. Uh, we've opted against this one guys, I'll show you why. I got about a third of the way out and this one cracked, that one cracked. The rail's going to hold us, but the rail's also 100 years old, but if even just one side goes, Look at that. It's about a 30 metre drop to your death. And oh wow, it bends around everywhere in there. We may come back to it. All right, we're going to come back to this one, guys. We can see it snaking all through there. But we got another third of the way out, and then this one broke. Hmm. Super tempting. Ultra dangerous. Possibly no need to do it with what we're exposed to today. We might even be able to get to the other side through another edit. All right, we'll keep exploring. I have a poison bottle. I wonder if it's for cyanide tablets for if you're trapped inside. <laughs> <laughs> if the portal collapses. What have we got here? Oh, is that the lid for it? There's thread on it. That's a bit too heavy gauge for a lid. All right. We may come back to this one. Well, that looks promising. Is that another mini head frame there, or a portal entry? Yeah, I'm punching, is that it? Or is it a tramway kind of thing? Yeah. Getting pretty close to the top of the hill here. Oh, okay. Looks like it drives in too. Nope. Yeah. Pretty old, that's a moth covered for ET phone home. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like some wasps have made a nest on up there too. 
Oh, found the fridge. Didn't leave anything for us though. Yeah? Stops. Okay. Really gossiping us, eh? Yeah, I've got no idea what this stuff is, but yeah, I think you're right. Mud clay. Alright, we're right over the other side of the mountain now, following this terrace up. It's extremely windy. I hope my wind filter's doing a good job. <laughs> I can understand why I can understand why we didn't book anything in uh, this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Plenty of room for everyone. Yeah. Oh, well, this is the biggest drive yet, hey? What do we got? Lumps of dough just stuck on spaghetti sauce. <laughs> nice, John. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, now they're the same ones as um, they're the grandmother moss, but they're obviously the. Where are we? Where should we say we are? Uh, yeah. So well, they're not the ones we see at Mount Perry. They're the New Caledonian variant. No way, does that face? Oh, they're going for it. Oh, that's got to be the ore, hey? This is a burning fluorescent. We'll have to turn mine off. I'll turn mine off. You still got yours on? I'll just cover it with my hand. Oh, there, go back up. Yeah, there, there, go down. The camera can see it. That's awesome. Oh, it's a good look there. Yeah. It's a whole parallel hobby field where people quit <laughs> throw some minerals out of mines. That's cool. A great scene looking back out. They are. What do you reckon that country rock is, John? Seen through with fairly decomposed. Oh, geez, look at that. Yeah. It's all ready to give way. It's pretty sedimentary here. Yeah. It does. Yeah, talk maybe. That is unique. Yeah, yeah, that's the first time I've ever seen that after years of exploring mines. Look, they're down here as well. Is that two different species? Well, I have no idea. Does anyone know? Drops anyone a wasp expert? Wasp nest expert? Wasp nest, yeah. Wasp nest expert, that's hard to say. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. So, it looks like those two adits down the bottom could be monstrous. They might not have any stopes in them, but I'd say everywhere that there's a pass inside one of these drops down. So we've got three at it to the bottom of the mountain that we're going to check out. Got some old bottles in here. Old cans, not that old, no. It actually looks like a shaft. I can see rail that's been thrown down there. Oh, 
All right. On to the next one, gang. Test, test. Here we go. Oh, holy Christ. Look at this huge slab about to peel off and go down in there. Whoa. What's that? 60 metres? 50 metres? Oh, I don't think it'd be that deep. Maybe. To the bottom of the oh, picture would be. 30? Yeah. The ladders don't go all the way down, look. We'll give you 30 metres of rope then, Sam. <laughs> Righto. <laughs> oh, there's like a, looks like a body bag down there. What's that? Rubbish. I always wondered about that last time I was here. Is there a tunnel the black... down an attic going in that way? Where? A big over ladder there? You come over my, over my Yeah, side. yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, there's an attic punching in there. It's a bit of a stopage going in there. There's definitely an attic going in there. And then there's all these down the bottom. Alright. <laughs> That's hectic, eh? Hey? Yeah. Wow, yeah, there's an edit down there. Look at that. That's cool. I'll try and get my torch on it. There we go. Or is it just a little pocket? I guess we'll find out later. When we're down there. Oh, the handrail ends. <laughs> Shit, that makes me feel sick. Oh, we got a trap door. <laughs> That's unusual. It might be in the magazine there, do you reckon? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, because look. Size. Look, that'd be for a padlock, yeah? Yep. Powder magazine. And probably accessible from both ways back in the day because I can see daylight through there. Right. Oh yeah, that's the door, look. Still got the padlock on it. Huh. Wow. Here we go again, picking up on the rail. This could be a big mine, or a big level. That's not daylight up ahead, that's the guy's torches. What do we got up ahead? Oh, this is nice. You can stand up in it. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> what do we got? Yeah, they had this daylight. That daylights. Look at that. Oh, I think I remember looking down that one. Look at that. I have a cup of coffee. You are? Yeah. Are you serious? Oh, no way. Oh, I've got a mine toad. Hey, buddy. This tunnel, so I keep saying, too. That's all right. All right. Yeah, it's a little bit bad down there. Do you, do you want me to give you a meter? Yeah. yeah. What do you want me to go first? Oh, you see a bug here? No. Oh, 
Holy smokes. What was that? <laughs> oh yeah, that big torch kicks ass. And that big pillar. Wow. A lot of moisture up there. Yeah, some timbers too. Oh yeah. Oh, found the bats. Yep, yep, yep. I can smell them too. All right, do you want my air meter, Sam? Watch your backpack on the back. Does it open back up? Yeah. Little bats. Oh. <laughs> um, that looked extremely hard. Does it face? No, it goes around a corner. All right, can I'll you maybe I'll give you just... an update in a minute. All right, thank you. Get your air meter out of your pocket, please. That's it. I didn't have any. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe stop watching if you're claustrophobic. <sighs> Why did you have to say that? <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Sam! Sam! Radio check, radio check, Sam. You got the meter on? Smells funky in here. What's this downward dog? <laughs> John, John Jones in it. That's my yoga for today. <laughs> That's why I need these jeans with the knee pads. Good work, mate. Good work. All right. Let's check the day, shall we? Yes, please. Smells funky. Is it on? Little button on the front. Yeah, how long does yours take to load? Probably won't be happy starting up in the bad air. Oh, that's um, brilliant. You've got a interchangeable plastic thing, so you can't possibly... Um, yeah, we're already down to 19.5. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Do you want to take it? No, nah, because uh, Sam's got my good one. How long should she go for? Oh, I've got a stop down there. But yeah, it's worth a look. It goes a long way. Sweet. 20.9. Uh, 20.9, nice. 20 .9. Is John alright coming through? Uh, what have we got up ahead, mate? Yeah, it's a dead straight drive. Shit! You can only you can hardly see to the end of it. Nice. We're almost heading back towards the stove, aren't we? Uh, I'm not sure. I think we're heading away from it, actually. Oh, you mean the big stove on my left side of it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You guys all right back there? Did John punch through? There's no footprints in here, guys, other than Sam's. You think this would have to come to a, a shoot? Yeah, it looks like they found a little pocket down here, but they gave up. This is not on the strike, is it? Yeah, hopefully. Tell you what, it's like an incubator in here. Yeah. 
Oh, she's hot and humid in here. Oh, thanks. Yeah. That's it. Oh, wow. Nothing. See a little bit of quartz there. Which generally, I do not think this part of the mine was successful. You guys heading back? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, this is an unpleasant feeling. There is no, there is air in here. It doesn't feel like there's air in here. That's where we've just come from. We've got a bit of a traffic jam to get out of the uh, backfield drive. Got to share that little uh, enclosure with bats. Making my way downtown and making it happy and on the whole line. Oh! oh, that is why we wear helmets, people. Oh, out into the fresh air, you beauty. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, that wraps up episode 2 from this location. We've got another couple of really cool adventures to bring to you over the next couple of weeks as we run into Christmas. So uh, good evening, thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure you share it with a family or friend or anyone that likes outdoor adventuring or mining, mining history. And there's some still some really cool uh, adventures that we want to share with you from this uh, really cool location in far north Queensland. So we'll see you guys next week.